Hey, what's up? So today I wanted to show you how you can implement human in the loop workflow with AI SDK. It's pretty simple to do. So let's start with the demo. First, we're asking AI to create a meeting for tomorrow to discuss the startup idea. And right away, you will see that AI is not trying to take action. Uh, it will ask for your permission to approve it or deny it. Let's Okay, we see that, okay, meeting about startup idea. Yeah, it works for me. I create the event In and event was created. So let's see how it works. So here we have our usual Next.js route, post route. Here we are getting our messages from the body. As you can see, we're defining our own type for messages to have everything type safe and uh, like magic, TypeScript magic. Here we are defining our tools. So first parameter of UI message is metadata that we are not defining. Then it's uh, data parts. And then we have our tools. Here I'm defining my own tools. As you can see here, we're inferring UI tools from tools. And tools is just uh, an object with my tools. Right now I have only one tool. As you can see here, we're defining description to create a calendar event meeting with specific specified details. And we're specifying details and output schema. As you can see, it's status and text, and you will see why that is. But what you can notice here is that we don't have execute function. Usually if you are doing like a tool calling, you would have here an execute function, right? But the thing is to implement our human in the loop interaction with AI, you want to like outsource this um, execute function to the front end. So I'm going to show you how it works. So here we're defining, defining our tools. Then let's see. Okay, we're going to come back to this later. Let me show you first how we are doing it on the front end. Let's go to the front end. So here on the page, we have use chat hook, just usual stuff. We're defining the type. Again, we're reusing our type from the route. Uh, also, we're defining the input, handle submit, just usual stuff. Here, we're checking if messages, if we have like not finished tool call in the messages, and if we have the tool that wasn't finished, in our messages, then we're like disallowing user to input any new messages and like submit any new messages. Okay. So here we have our conversation with the messages. We're mapping over all messages and parts. Here we have our part type based on the type we're switch casing over it over the type. And you can see here we have case for our tool. So this like switch case will be triggered when AI has called the tool, right? We're getting tool name uh, and also it's type saved. So we're giving it our tool types right here. And this way, this tool name is going to be typed. Also, we're getting tool call ID to then submit it to AI. So here we have if part state equals to input available. So part state is like tool call has different states that, that it can be, can be in, um, particularly for cases for like states. It could be input available, streaming, have a output available or output or output adder. If input available, then like it means that AI has called the tool, but hasn't finished it yet. That's what we need. So based if we have this state input available, then as you can see, we're showing this UI of approving or denying. Sorry. We're showing this UI of approving or denying. And on those buttons, as I said, like you have to, uh, you have to finish the tool that AI has called. Otherwise, it, like your chats will stop working, your conversation will stop working. 
you have to submit the tool result with um, selected or current uh, tool call ID and tool call name. And we're defining here like output based on the based on like the button user has clicked. So if, for example, user denied it, then we're sending denied and text like in some text as well. And you can go in further and maybe implement some uh, inputs. So for example, if user clicks deny, it will show some inputs and you can send output as changes that AI that user has suggested to AI. And after we're doing it, we're sending a message. So you have to like append the tool result or add the tool result and then send the message to trigger the next uh, steps from AI. Also important to mention here is that everything is type saved. So because we we have we have defined the types here where all our messages, functions, everything will be typed. So here as well, it works. Uh, if we go back here, you can see status is typed. So after we send this um, different statuses to the backend, let's see what's happening on the backend. So here in the backend, uh, what we're doing is that we're defining the stream and calling the execute function, getting the last message of the messages and iterating over parts of the last message. Here we're checking if the parts, if like a part of the message is tool call. If it is not a tool, then we're just returning a part. So if it's just a text, then we will just return the text. Then we're getting the name of the tool. So now we know that it's tool, it's a tool. Then we're checking uh, if this is the tool that we're looking for and if it's not created or like finished, then here, and so that's where like the magic, <clears throat> so that's where the magic happens. We're going through part. So you remember on the front end, we have called, let me show you, tools with the output and the status. So now we're switch casing over the statuses right here, over the output status. If it's approved, so user approved the our interaction or our event, then we're just executing the function. And this function is just mock function with like success creation of the tool of the event. And here we're writing uh, back to the front end that tool output is available with the tool call ID. So it's to indicate to the front end that tool has finished and we're getting the output as well. And then we're just returning the updated um, the updated part of the message case. If it's denied, we're just saying that user has denied the event. Again, we're like writing to the front end to the stream that it was denied with the some results. And then we're just returning again the part. So what we're essentially doing is that we're outsourcing the tool execution to the front end and front end decides whether or not to accept the, the tool that AI has called or to deny it. That's pretty much it. So if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.